Today I'm going to be replacing the secondary air injection pump on a 2012 Audi Q5. You can start by removing this front belly pan. Just some Torx fasteners off the front. Like this all the way around the perimeter. And then in the back there's some of these Zeus fasteners. You just give them a quarter turn and they come out. Now that that's out of the way, you can see up in the right front corner in front of the tire, you can see the, uh, the air pump. There it is. It's hard to work it like this from the bottom. So what I like to do is remove this front grill. It just pops right out. You just get a hook tool, put it up here and pull on it. And just uh, just remove that. Once that's out of the way, you actually have great access to the pump. You can see it right here. And you're gonna you're gonna want to remove the bracket that it attaches to. So that that bolt there and the um, the two bolts up high. You can see you can see that one and then uh, up here there's another. So just use a um, extension with a swivel socket and uh, you can get right to it. All right, the bolts are loose. Now all you have to do is disconnect the two air lines. This is the, uh, the one that goes up to the air filter housing for where it pulls in the fresh air. And then on the other side from underneath, you, dis you disconnect that, that hose right there and the, uh, the plug, and then you pull it through the front. And once you have it out, it's a good time to inspect these rubber mounts. Um, the new pumps usually come with new ones. If not, order them. You're going to want to replace those. You see them torn very often. Just uh, take the new one, just the three nuts off, and um, reattach it the same way. And uh, reverse procedure. You just have to wiggle it around a little bit to get it to get it out through here. That's that's the only real trick. Everything else is pretty straightforward. So there it is.